Hi everyone. I know I said I wasn't going to do another tutorial because I just didn't have time um, because I have a lot to do before Christmas but I kind of got caught up on some things so I thought I'd make a ring. And here is the ring that I am going to do a tutorial on and somebody wanted to have this tutorial done so they could probably make this ring and wear it for Christmas. So. On these rings here, I used um, check glass beads for the um, ring band on both rings. And I find it a lot easier with a stretch cord, but I'm not too crazy about the Opalon because Opalon stretches almost just like Fireline does. So it's your choice. But the reason I did it with Opalon is because there's a lot of give in this um, fibery kind of uh, stretch cord. But it's up to you. You can use stretch cord or you can use Opalon, whatever you have at hand. So here you have a purple one done in purple and a purple opal. That's a really light amethyst opal. And I done it in light Siam and gold delicas. It's a really pretty ring. It's comfortable. It's not sticking up. You know me, I don't like rings that stick up like this. Because the simple, th the, the problem with the bicone sticking up they snag and catch on stuff and then they end up breaking and we will reinforce this as these are reinforced very very well still crystals like to cut your fire line so that's why I like flat rings and these are not going to snag or catch on anything so for today's project your Christmas project you're going to need some 11 delicas and 16 um, four millimeter bicones and you're going to need some three millimeter uh, Czechoslovakian uh, fire polish beads and these are black hematite this is a turquoise double AB and this is a smoke gray delica now if you're going to use Opalon which I'm going to use today you're going to need two big eye needles and I've already have my Opalon threaded ready to go but you will need two big eye needles because it's a lot easier to get through with the Opalon and the needles to get through these beads once it's completed. You will need about a yard of fire line so I'm using six pound. You'll need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a pair of pliers to help you know edge the needle through your bicones because sometimes it can be a bit tricky to pull it out with um, just your fingers. Mine gets slippery. And you're going to need some clear nail polish or you can use uh, glue of whatever choice you have. I just like to put clear nail polish on my knots and leave it on there till the nail polish hardens and then I'll cut my strings off of um, the ring. So you gather all, oh, what else do you need? Oh, size 10 beading needle, of course. And I've already got my one yard of fire line strung on my beading needle. So I'm ready to go. I'm using a thread zapper because I love this tool. This tool is the best thing I've ever invested money in. And I'll see you back here as soon as you get all your materials. Okay, let's get started. This is a quick ring to do. You're going to pick up a four millimeter bicone on your needle. 11 Odelica, 4 millimeter. You're going to continue to pick all these up till you have four of each on your needle like so. And then you're going to bring those down and you're going to leave yourself a good 8 inch tail. That's why I cut such a nice long piece. And then we're just going to go back through all these beads again. So, you're going to run your needle starting with the beginning here where you put your first bead on and you're going to run your needle through all the beads to make a circle and then just tie a simple overhand two overhand knots don't catch your bead though There's one and two And then you're going to take your needle and you're going to put it through the bicone, this bicone right beside where your knot is. You're going to go in the bicone 
and through the 11 Odelica and exit through the 11 Odelica. And that's where you want to be. Okay. Then you're going to pick up seven Delicas on your needle. Seven Delicas. You're going to skip the four millimeter bicone and go into the next Delica in that ring. And pull. And you should have this. Pick up seven Delicas. Skip the bicone. Oopsies. Skip the bicone and go into the 11 -0. without catching your tail. So repeat this two more times, picking up seven delicas. Skipping the bicone and going into the 11 -0. Sometimes the tail can be finicky. There. So you should have this little star piece, kind of four-sided star. Now you're exiting out of the Delica that's between all your four millimeters, and you want to exit in the top of the seven. So you're going to count three. You're going to go up three and into the middle one between the sevens, which will be the fourth bead. So you're going to go through three beads in that line right beside there and into the fourth, which is at the top, like so. Then you're going to pick up two Delicas, a four millimeter, and two Delicas on your needle. And you're going to jump across into the next group of seven and you're going to go into the fourth bead of that group, so you're in the middle of the group of seven. So you have this. And you're going to just repeat the same process. Pick up two Delicas, a four millimeter, two Delicas, count one, two, three, and go into the fourth bead in the group of seven, which is the middle bead. And as you're doing this, you might want to kind of cup it over top of your finger like this as you're doing it. Okay, two more times. Two Delicas, a four millimeter, two Delicas. Skip three or yeah, skip three, go into the fourth, like so, and pull. And kind of keep it cupped over your finger. Two Delicas, a four millimeter, and two Delicas. And you're going to end right where you started, into the fourth bead of the row of seven. So you want to kind of keep this work, your work tight and keep cupping it over your finger. Now what you need to do is go through the two Delicas just before the four millimeter to get started on the next round. So pull this tight and this is what you have so far. Now you're going to pick up five Delicas, pick up five on your needle, you're going to jump across, you're going to go into the, 
there's two delicas the two delicas that are after your four millimeter you're going to go into those and again you're going to exit into oh. the middle bead of the previous row in the row of seven so this is what you should be where you should be at so you put your five on you went through the two that's beside your four millimeter and back into this middle bead again now you're going to pick up seven delicas and you're going to run your needle back through that same delica that you're exiting this way you're exiting here and you're going to run your needle through the same way so you have this and try not to get your thread tangled or twisted so what you want to do is kind of find the middle of your seven beads kind of hold it there and pull your thread so you kind of have like um, a stick sticking out like that and then you're going to exit through the two delicas exit just before the four millimeter like so keeping your work nice and tight and again you're going to pick up five delicas and if you don't have delicas I think 11 O's regular check 11 O's would work skip the four millimeter go into the two beads beside the four millimeter and back into the previous round the rows, the, the, the seven that you have go into the middle there like so and exit there and again you're going to do pick up seven delicas and you're going to make another circle so you're going to go into the delica the same way you're exiting just completely make a circle simple easy find the middle bead pull it up and give your thread a tuck so you have this so this is what you're you're shooting for okay so repeat this two more times and I'll see you back here um, when you're ready to we're ready to do the next round okay so you should be exiting out of the delica that you strung your seven last seven beads on so what you need to do is you need to be exiting at the top of these five that are sitting on top of the four millimeter that we just put on so you're going to go through the two beads be beside the four millimeter right where you're exiting and then you're going to go through the first three beads of the five that you put on above the four millimeter like so and kind of keep your ring cupped a little bit like that it's just going to have a wee bit of a dome shape to it okay if you can see that then you're going to pick up one delica one four millimeter and one delica and you're going to go into the fourth bead in this little column here of seven you're going to go into the fourth bead like so and exit like so pick up a delica a four millimeter a delica and again you're going to go into the third bead that the five beads that are sitting over top of your four millimeter you're going to go into the top third bead of the group of five and it'll start to cup around your finger a little bit which is good we want it to do that a delica a four millimeter and a delica up through the fourth bead in the group of seven keep your ring domed a delica a four millimeter a delica into the third bead of the group of five above your four millimeter and pull a delica four millimeter and a delica 
into the fourth bead in that stick of seven. A delica, a four millimeter, and a delica into the third bead in the group of five. A delica, a four millimeter, and a delica, and into the fourth bead in the group of seven, and delica your last four millimeter and a delica and you're going to exit into the same bead in that group of five like so and that's where you should be exiting and there's your ring as long as you kept it pulled tight now you're gonna go all around the bottom through all those beads so you're gonna go through your your delica, your four millimeter, your delica, and the center bead of your group of seven there. So pulling this nice and tight, keeping it domed over your finger through the, the middle bead of the seven. And you're just going to go all the way around this at least once to reinforce this and it will tighten it up a little bit too. It can be a bit, I like to go through as many beads as I can, but that center bead is off sent, offset to the two that you string on, so it's, oops, watch you don't catch your thread like I just did. And once you can see where your thread has, you can see your thread, probably should have used smoke fire line but and it, once you see it's got two strands of thread through it then you know you've gone through it twice don't go through it too too many times okay so now I'm getting ready to um, tie this off and from experience I would recommend not tying a knot before a crystal tie a knot prior to going into a crystal so tie your knot here and then go through the delica and I'm going to tie another knot after I get out just exit the crystal and then I'm going to tie another knot so go through a crystal and then tie a knot just to be because fire line, crystals cut fire line all the time. So I like to do it on the outside of a, of a, I like to do it into a seed bead if I can. And pull it tight. And I'm going to do one more for good measure. One more for the road. Isn't that what guys say when they go to the bar? You're having a drink. Oh, one more for the road. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to run this through a few beads and then I will zap it off. As long as I don't have this snaked, we're good. All right. So it's safe to burn that off. Now I'm going to take my needle and thread it onto the long tail I have here. And we're going to go and we are going to reinforce the center of our ring. 
so if it gets a little bit of rubbing so your threads kind of coming out at the bottom just drop it into the center here and you should be exiting out of a four millimeter so you want to go through just the delica that we put in the very first round so we put a delica a four millimeter and a delica and you're just going to go through this as many times as you see fit and just tighten it right up so it's going to secure the middle into place oops went through one too many beads here there we go want to go through the four millimeter some reason I can only get one at a time. And you're just going to keep doing this. I like to do this till I know that if I bang this ring around, my thread isn't going to get cut so easily with these dime with these crystals. Even though they're Swarovski's, they still cut fire line. Try not to lose the shape of your ring. If you do, you can just squish it back in to shape. So I'm just going through these eight beads that I strung on in the very beginning. broke my crystal. Wow. That's not good. That's what you don't want to do. <laughs> okay. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to have to redo this ring, but I'm not going to redo it right now. I'll finish the tutorial. But when you get finished stringing that through, um, don't do what I just did. Don't overdo it. Cut your thread off because we did tie it in a knot at the beginning. Oh boy, that's just my luck. <laughs> All right, so we have here, we're going to do our band now. And there's our ring with the broken crystal. That's terrible. Now pick any side you want to um, put your band on. I put them on any side because all four sides here should be the same. So you're going to take your big eye needle and you're going to go through, as you can see it's like a squared off here. So you're just going to go through a crystal and a leveno. And this is where your pliers need to come in play to help ease it out go through the middle. There's three beads between the crystals. And you want to exit out of the next crystal. Like so. And if you use just um, ordinary plain um, stretch cord, you're going to have a bit of a problem getting through those. That's why I'm using the big eye needles and the opulon. Now, on your big eye needles, so you have them coming out like so. I don't know if you could see that, but you got one coming out of each crystal. You're going to pick up two 11 O Delicas on each needle, and you may need your pliers for this as well. So pick up two 11 O Delicas on each needle and you're going to pick up a fire polish on each needle and on my left needle I'm going to pick up two fire polish and I'm going to drop the first ones down, pull this one down and I'm going to cross my needles through it. And pull that down. So you have this, the start of your band. Wow, that broke my heart. I broke that. 
So pick up another one, a three millimeter on each needle, and whichever hand you want to pick up another one, bring that down and cross over with your needles. Cross through it and pull. Pick up one on each needle and then another one on whatever needle. I'm using my left and cross over and pull. So I want you to do this to the length that you need. So if you're, I'm using 29 beads. I'm going to do this all the way until I get to my last two beads. Okay, so I'll have two beads left. And I'll come back and show you how to finish it. End it like this that you've just crossed through your last, um, your last three millimeter, end it like that until I come back. Okay, so I have completed the band, well, completed putting on what I need to, and you've ended with crossing over in your last three millimeter. So what you're gonna do on both needles is you're going to pick up your last of your two three millimeters, one on each needle. You're going to pick up two delicas on each needle. And you're going to fold your ring over and whichever needle, don't matter right or left, but since I'm right-handed, you're going to go right across into the uh, five beads you went into these five, you're going to go into these five. And you're going to take your needle and go start through your four millimeter. Don't break it like I did. Pull that through. Give it a little help. And then you're going to go through the delicas. There's three delicas between them. So you're going to go through the three delicas and exit out of that four millimeter and give it a little help. Okay, then you're going to take your opulon off of your big eye needles and you're going to get ready to tie a knot. And I like to do a square knot. So that would consist of right over left. and left over right. Oops. Pulling it tight, like so, not too tight that you snap it. And then I want you to take your nail polish or your glue and you're going to dab it Dab it with your nail polish and let that dry. I like to dab the knot all the way around and just let it harden with the nail polish. You can use glue, whatever you've got. I like to use, I have glue too, but I just like the clear nail polish. And this is a sad day that this ring broke because I'll hide that. <laughs> until I get uh, redoing it. But anyway, I know that's a waste of Fireline and Opulon and whatever else, but there you have your really pretty, beautiful, gorgeous ring. Is that not gorgeous? I love the black and turquoise. It's just stunning. So I am going to um, name this ring after a very special person in my life and that would be my mother and I lost my mother a few months ago um, actually four months ago 
It's going to be tough for Christmas, but every time I made rings, um, my mom always, always had to have one of my rings because she always loved all the rings that I made. So I'm going to call this Sparkling Colleen Ring. My mother's name was Colleen. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you make yourself a couple of these rings for Christmas. That's too bad that that I have to redo this ring. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Merry Christmas everyone. I wish each and every one of you uh, a wonderful Christmas. Great Christmas dinner with family and friends. And I'll see you back here right after Christmas with a absolutely beautiful, beautiful bracelet. I'm not even going to show you a picture of it because you're all going to want me to make it right now. And ain't going to do that. So I'll see you after Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone. Bye-bye.